What is going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again to Mortal Kombat 11. Hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay up until this point. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Without any further ado, we're going to jump right back into MK11 and get this story started once again with Chapter 7. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to like and subscribe, like I said. Let's get right back into MK11, guys. Here we go. You are passionate, Princess Kitana, but I am not persuaded. Queen Shiva. Haven't your people fared better under Kotal Khan than Shao Khan? In some ways. But we can only guess which Khan will prevail in this struggle. We gain no advantage choosing sides now. Princess! Liu Kang, why are you here? Kotal Khan has been captured by the Tarkatans. We must act quickly before he is executed. My people will not rally to a Khan held in chains. We have Earthrealm's support, Your Highness. With yours, we can guarantee victory. There is no path to victory without the Tarkatans. If they can be swayed to Kotal Khan, it would be to our advantage to join him. I will return, Queen Shiva, with the Tarkatans at my side. Together we will march on Shao Khan. What is it about Jade's blood that intrigues you, Scarlet? Indinian blood is most sweet, Your Excellency. It is also a rare commodity. Where are they taking him? To the Colosseum, no doubt. Then we attack now. We'll never sway Baraka to Kotal's side by taking the offensive. We must turn Baraka first, then attack Shao Kahn together. The Tarkatans won't grant an audience. Their instinct will be to attack. Not to mention Jade. At the first sign of trouble, they could kill her. I have an idea. gift for Shao Kahn. We wish to join his fight against Kotal. All those years, the Khan's high and mighty daughter, now brought low by common soldiers, have you learned finally that you're no better than the rest of us? She is for Shao Kahn. We demand to see Baraka. You won't be seeing anyone. Liu Kang. You betrayed your father, Kitana. 
I was Shao Kahn's daughter by conquest. He stole a demon from its rightful ruler, the father I never knew. Because your people and your bloodline were weak. Alright guys, well welcome back to MK11. Today we're Sports. taking on Katana and our first fight is against Scarlet. So let's hit a little throw here. Let's see if we can get Katana's fans going a little bit here. Nice. Oh, another throw on Scarlet. Hell yeah. So I've heard that Katana's got a lot of really good mix-ups uh, to her attack sequences. So if you can master her combo, she becomes a really, really, really advantageous character to use in this game. I'm just going to hit us with her Fatal Blow. Scarlet's got a pretty good Fatal Blow, too. I mean, all the Fatal Blows in this game are pretty gnarly, but she's got a pretty crazy one. 389 damage points. Holy crap. All right, so we got our first round out of the way. So we can get round number two here. Come on, Katana. I just love that fan throw, man. Her zoning capabilities, Katana in general, are just fantastic in this game. A little fan. Oh, another throw. There you go. Okay, alright. Let's take Katana's fatal blow here. There is more to power than conquest, Scarlet. As requested, zero casualties. Jade, are you all right? We must find Baraka quickly to save Kotal. Baraka won't join us. Kotal's hate for the Tarkatans runs too deep. If I hadn't stopped him, Kotal would have executed them all. Yes! Kotal has made his intentions plain. Baraka, please listen. No more Tarkatans need to die. Kotal Khan threatens all Tarkatans. In the new era, Shao Kahn will rule. Alright guys, so Baraka back into action. If you guys remember in MK10, he was actually killed by Devorah, so... Let's, uh... See what we can do here with Katana, see if we can defeat him here. Baraka's actually a really interesting character in the MK universe. He's really a cool character. When I finally found that he was going to show up in the roster this time, I was actually really excited. There we go. I will execute you. Get round number two here. See if we can amplify her fan throw. So we did it. We were able to amplify it right there. I don't know if you guys saw that little gold shimmer. That's how you amplify things with the right bumper. Gonna hit us with his fatal blow. Baraka's got a pretty gnarly fatal blow as well. At the uh, MK event where they actually showed it live, uh, his fatality is one of the gnarliest ones in the game. So we were able to get him right before he killed us. Hear me, Baraka. I speak truth. Jade, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, stand down. Good. 
pitted Outworld's peoples against one another for millennia. And for what? The honor of dying in his wars? We must fight for each other, Baraka. Not with each other. Kotal wants us dead. He said as much to my face. Aid us, and I'll make sure you sit at Kotal's table. Which do you prefer, Baraka? To be Shao Kahn's slave? ...or Kotal Khan's trusted ally. No one has ever made Tarkotan set an offer. But these are your words, not his. Help me save Kotal Khan. We'll ask him together. <laughs> he offers less. I'll slit his throat. If he offers less, Baraka, I'll help you. Suffered too long at this pretender's hands, but I've returned, and I will save you from his madness. Only I can rebuild the Empire. All realms will tremble before me. Outworld will again be conquerors, never the conquerors. it before, I'd have had no need for Melina. My sister was an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. <laughs> <laughs> Judge me. You have not known cold or hunger. If you had, you would value the gifts Shao Kahn gave you. Alright guys, fight. fight number three in the episode, going up against Collector, one of the brand new characters in MK11. Uh, a lot of people said they were going to main Collector. Um, he's a very interesting character when they actually revealed him. He has one of the gnarly, gnarly fatalities as well. Alright, we took him out for the first round, see if we can take down Collector for round number two here. Come on, Katana. I love that little teleport that she does. That's so sick. Always oh, amplifying some combos here. Damn, Collector. Oh, he's going to hit his fatal blow. This might get us for the round. It might not. I'm not sure. Might have just enough to take him out. Maybe. Yep. Oh, he's going to get us for the round. Nice job, dude. Good lord!
grateful you still breathe. Consequences. Surrender on the brink of victory. You're as feeble minded as Jared. King Jared, the father you murdered and stole me from. I wanted Jared's wife, not his heir. I kept you only to appease your mother. Do not expect mercy this time. All right, guys, going up against Big Bad Shao Kahn. Let's see if we can take him out here. If you guys hadn't already noticed, Shao Kahn is a big dude, so a lot of his moves are uh, power moves that do a lot of damage. Oh, he's going to hit his fatal blow. One thing about this game, the difference between Injustice 2 and uh, this game is that the computers actually use their fatal blows at a really opportune time, whereas Injustice they use it right about where the uh, round is about to end. Oh, he won the first round, okay. Let's see if we can take him out for the second round here. Coming with some heat. Oh, snap. There we go. Alright, third round. Fourth fight of the day. Let's see if we can take him out here. Oh, he's pissed. Oh. Do you feel anything? Shao Kahn has crippled me, left me defenseless. Not while I am by your side. You would have me, even with my hardened heart? I know your heart. It can change.
It is over, Kotal Khan. The throne is secure. Thank you. Baraka. Shiva. I have not served your peoples well. Yet, still you aided me. I will not forget. We don't need charity. We will share an Outworld's rule. That is up to her now. What? The throne is yours. You have united Outworld, Kitana Khan. She's now officially out of your league. I am humbled, Kotal. From this day on, may all our peoples fight together as one. The news from Outworld is indeed hopeful, but the location of Kronika's keep remains a mystery. It is beyond the realms, and has proven to be beyond my sight. Do you know of Karan, Raiden? Karan, of course. Who is Karan? Master of the ancient ship of the dead. Sub-Zero and I met him during our time as Revenants. He travels in the space beyond realms, transporting damned souls to the Nether Realm. If the keep lies there, Karan may know its location. Would he help us? It is possible, but I cannot be sure. I urge you both to investigate. We will leave immediately. Locking down Outworld's army is huge. But still, I'd feel better if we had more manpower. The Shaolin will join us. Liu Kang and Kung Lao travel now to aid the monks' preparations. Good. I'll be leaving soon to go after Johnny and Sonya. I'll go too. We're both going. No. Raiden needs you for an intel op. We need to get Sonya back. Undoubtedly. But Kronika's behavior makes it clear that while mighty, she is not all-powerful. Otherwise, why would she attempt to steal Jinsei? Think maybe she's still building strength? A distinct probability. Then what's her next move? With the Dragon Grotto's Jinsei Fountain sealed, there is no greater energy source in Earthrealm than the Well of Souls beneath Shang Tsung's island. Then we'd better go check it out. I regret that I cannot join you. I must keep vigil for signs of Kronika's further tampering with time. We all have our duty. I am told you defeated Shinnok, Cassandra Cage. You will defeat the likes of Kano, but proceed with caution. If either Johnny or Sonya die, you will cease to exist. It will be beyond my power to save you.